doing it because he was like, you know what? I'm just going to take advantage of this opportunity and try and get into the mainstream because that's going to make me money. I can sell out three arenas that way. And uh, basically, he's releasing a new album this year and he's headlining Glastonbury on the Friday, which again is insane. And for even for him to be an artist like him to even after one album go and be headlining at Glastonbury. So he's going to be releasing a record around that time. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to In the car and uh, she was doing... She had, I think, two or three programs of banjo music, brilliant uh, country banjo. And I ran into her in the corridor and said, uh, I loved your banjo program. And she looked at me and said, I got two sacks of hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> I probably wrote one of those. <laughs> <laughs> but it was her generosity of spirit. Yeah. It was that great, she had a great spirit about uh, everything. On Monday, another late great figure from the Irish music industry who was remembered on this week's Ray Darcy show, presented by Brenda Donoghue, was Phil Linus. Television director Brian Redden has made a documentary about the making of the video for the song Old Town. And it was important for him to develop as a solo artist. This is from his second album. His first album was called Solo with Soho, wasn't it? And the second one is called the Filipino album. And this was one of the tracks from it. So it was important for him that this be a hit because he needed to really help, you know, launch. and find a solution to their own problems first right. before they ask somebody else. So it's a really sort of, it's teaching kids to solve problems. And it's not just, it, it, it teaches them much more than just coding, I suppose. It's a very social environment. And, and we also... I'm just a 